All right, hey everyone. Welcome back to a another round of Geogaster. This week, I have something different. If you remember, for I don't know how long, I've been asking if you guys have any suggestions for anything. I'm all ears, and I'll totally give it a shot today. And I didn't plan this. I'm pretty sure. I'm just assuming here that this person and one of my videos. Let me find out if I can see which one it was. Episode 110 gave me a suggestion to try out this other. Uh, Map choice here, where it's potentially not going to be as much Russia or Brazil. It's apparently up to 13,000 other hand-picked locations throughout the world. Uh, suggested making it three minutes. I have to tell him, hold up. Don't mess with the format. We'll stick with this. I'll put a link below for this uh, challenge if you want to give it a shot yourself. But, uh, yeah. I'm stuck in a tree, apparently. All right, so I have no idea how terrible I'm going to do here because this guy just keeps having this bush hang around his camera. Um, yeah, this is going to be uncommon places I haven't had before. So I could very well get four points this entire game. And just go into this knowing that. But hey, I asked for uh, suggestions. People gave it to me. And here we are. Why is there a bush all over this guy's camera? Anyway, here we are. I was really hoping to see whatever that was, but I can't. Anyway, it's been exactly seven days since I last recorded all three episodes for last week. And uh, what has happened? I feel this is bamboo, which makes me feel like this is Southeast Asia. Potentially. Hmm. I don't think Taiwan. <clears throat> Excuse me. But. Yeah, I did go see that concert, and it felt real weird because uh, I need to see if there's any writing on this telephone pole. This will tell me a lot. Get the fucking tree off your car, buddy. I'm going to go back here and take a look. Maybe this will help me. But I did see that concert, and I was a bit surprised because uh, I'm just going to click here before I forget. I'm kind of feeling maybe Philippines. It could be up here. It could be down here. Maybe Papua, Gu Papua New Guinea. I don't know how much I need to, like think of places potentially not where I've been before. Um, yeah, I'm thinking this is probably Taiwan. So I'm going to click Taiwan and uh, go from there. But this could be China as well, but uh, I'm not entirely sold on either yet. What happened to this tree? It exploded. But I went to go see the concert and felt real weird for a couple of reasons. Number one, uh, the band Ween. Uh, they would come to my calls all the time when I was there, but I just never really bothered to go see them. I don't know. I wasn't into them too much at the time. There was that one song that was Voodoo Lady that I thought was Red Hot Chili Peppers because go and listen to that and tell me that it doesn't sound like Anthony Kiedis, all right? And then uh, some uh, people I play with on uh, Final Fantasy XI, that MMO. You really need to get this off your car. It's driving me nuts. Um, suggested the band and told me... Uh, to listen to this song, oh god, what the hell is it called? Dick in the Wind, maybe, where it's just a song he's talking about, I'm waving my dick in the wind. And they played that, that was one of, like, the four songs I heard. And, uh, it was a concert, it was nice, I enjoyed it. Um, but it was weird listening to this song play, and there's a bunch of families there, and there's, like, little five-year-old kids just dancing around going nuts while this guy's on the mic singing about waving his dick in the wind. It just was a, a juxtaposition, they say. And also that there was just weed smoke everywhere. But hey, when you're uh, invested in the culture, I guess, you're diving headlong in and really don't care about the consequences. I mean, I'm not here to um, parent shame because, hey, everyone's got their own way of doing things. But I just wouldn't have done that. I mean, I'm not saying I'm better. Clearly not. No. Oh, wait, wait. This could be Japan. Hmm. I need to get to some more. Uh, I'm going to probably get this wrong, and it's probably going to end up being Japan. But I really feel like this is probably Taiwan. It's just because of the... Or this could be south. This could be like down here in this region of China. But again, I have no real basis for what this could be, unless I see... Oh, no, this is, this is China, so I'm going to click, like, here. No, I'm going to go with Taiwan. I should have started. I was clicking back on Taiwan. Oh, 
second guessing yourself every time will bite you in the ass. Well, good start. All right, so this, I have no idea. Oh, it's a one photo place. Well, this uh, map is already getting a lot of minus points for me because of what this is turning into. This is going against my two assumptions where it's either going to be Germany or uh, India for potential geoguesser locations. And uh, I don't know anything about Europlates. That's a Citroën. That's a Volkswagen. Renault? Audi? That's probably Renault. I don't know what that is. That's a Ford and... All right, so I only have this street corner. Oh, wait, wait. Total green. This still could be Germany. Hmm. Um. This is gonna be another bad, this is gonna be a bad score. I know this is Europe. However, the climate and location, it's a bit disheveled. I don't see anything here that would make me think it's Macedonia. This is summer. It's a little messy. Um, cars aren't helping. If I, but there's English here. Total green. But it's not in focus enough for me to really figure out what this is. So here's my logic. This is my thinking. All right. I feel we're in Southeast Europe. And I don't know if I need to start doing the, well, if this is supposed to be places I haven't been before, I have not had an Albanian guess or Serbian, Bosnian, Herzegovinian or Macedonian. Hmm. License plates, European license plates, I can't tell. I don't understand them. I have a minute 30 left. Like, is anything on this tell me anything about where I am in Europe? I mean, if this was better quality, I could probably, that probably just says EU there if I had to guess. So they're in the European Union. A lot of countries are in the European Union. I mean, now i got to start playing, like, the uh, numbers odds game here. Like, I feel like my rule of everything being German is it should be probably in Germany, whereas if I was to guess Southeast uh, Europe, I would have to, like, centralize it and probably put it in Serbia. But I don't know if I'm sold. The thing that kind of makes me feel like it's not Germany is, is it's just there's a lot of crap everywhere. And I'm not saying that every place in Germany is clean, fit, and nice, and everywhere else that's not in Europe is dirty like this. I just know some European countries I've been to that have maybe not had the highest of economic levels as, say, like Germany does. It doesn't have all of this. But that's just probably not fair. I'm just going off what I've experienced. So I don't know if I feel like putting Germany here, but I second guess myself on the first one. And ended up being wrong. But also, if this was Germany, that would probably be in German words there. I gotta click something here. Do I split the middle and maybe do Slovenia? I feel like it's like enough of a difference between the two. I'm gonna make a guess and see. Oh, it was Romania. Okay. So I'm okay with that. I'm I'm fine with that guess. I'm okay with living with it. So on average, compared to other places I've guessed, I'm about the same. So I got to see this car. I really like to think that I've just gotten the answer here very easily. <laughs> and I just noticed I haven't even really finished the story about going to see the concert all that much. But honestly, after seeing, I'm going to just say we're in Kron Kapong. Uh, just being surprised that there was, oh, wait, wait, that actually had street sign stuff on it. Um, I thought I would have seen under like heard more songs but also some of the songs they played i was just kind of like kampong thumb i'm like yo these really don't feel like uh wait that's the six these are different 
colored um, highway signs. Okay, they don't have that. These are kind of like blue... Si what about Vietnam? Does Vietnam have? No. But it's it's the same style of writing, I feel like, so it has to be. And that car said fucking Cambodia on it. I mean, unless there's like a Cambodian brand name? I don't know. So Phnom Penh is right there. So we're going to head that direction, which makes me feel like I have to look for the six, which is this right here. And I have to start looking for, like, some of these other ones here. Uh, Krom, Kapar, Mom. No, Phnom Penh is up here, so I feel like I should start looking for pre... All these words here are almost all words I see here, but I'm not seeing it. Wait, I clicked on Krom, Kapar. I'm being an idiot. I keep thinking I'm seeing things I'm not. Phnom Penh's there. We're on the 6. We're connecting to the 6. Which makes me feel like maybe here. I don't know if the six goes down anywhere else, but um, anything else I want to mention about the concert? It was good. Location was nice. The uh, what I heard and didn't think were creepy songs were all right. Alcohol is prohibitively expensive, but again, you go to the concert, you just know you're gonna pay a lot. Like a pint of beer there was seven dollars. Actually, it was $7 for all alcohol served there. Didn't have to be in a pint can. It also were in 12-ounce cans. I'm not going to do the milliliter conversion because I'm an idiot. But I just know that if a pint and the 12-ounce are going for the same price, I'm just going to go for volume because I'm all the options they were selling there, they weren't that great. So I'm just like, I understand. You got me. I'm a captive audience. I really feel like I need something to drink. So I'm... Uh, I'm going to pay your prices and just live with it. I'm just going to make my guess now because I don't think in a minute more I'm going to get any closer. Oh, we're up there. Good enough. So, liking this, um, this map, like, series a bit. This is, pr I don't know, are we getting farther away? We are getting farther away from the bus. So I'm going to do this. One more click. We should be right next to the bus. Wording, this is India, Bangladesh. We're over a floodplain slash uh, something. <laughs> Words, I don't know. I mean, this could be uh, India. And I'm only doing that because their words are like, they have that vertical line and then like dangly bits underneath it. Because I don't know. I don't speak whatever language this is. I mean, it's a Hein D. Hamako, Hamco battery. This doesn't help me. I'm going to click a lot this way. Or actually, am I closer to... I'm closer to the uh, water's edge this way. So I'm just going to click this way and maybe see a sign that'll help me. Okay, we got a train. Bunch of douches on GoPros. <laughs> it's just everywhere. You can't get away. Bags of rice just on a train. So I'm feeling this is probably India. Let's see, the intercity. All right, so now I feel like we're... I'm going to click, like, here. Because maybe it could be Bangladesh. I'm not seeing anything on the train here that's telling me, like, country locations. So, uh... Look at this dude. Look at that bad... Are you pissing? I think that guy's just taking a piss. No, he's just... Standing like a badass on top of a train. I mean, I don't know why you are, but that's pretty cool. I would not do that. Nabil. Alright, so is there a Nabil in India that I don't know about? Hmm. Don't at Thinuvana Nanathalapuram. I hope I've got this right. Maybe this is actually Bangladesh. That's why I'm kind of hedging my bets a bit and going, like, up here. But I'm hoping there's a sign somewhere on a thing I'm about to pass or at the edge of the bridge here. We'll see. Um, concert itself, I don't know what else to say about it. It was good. It was enjoyable. I had fun. Um walked back it was it was far enough away that it was like a what 30 minute walk 
All right, we're we're crossing a toll of some sort. Pinky, uh, I'm not seeing anything on here that help would help me anymore. So we keep going. Uh, we keep going. Thank you. All right. This is telling me everything I need to know. I just can't understand it. We are, um, what, that is a jump. Yeah, we're, not, we're not in a place that sees a lot of English, um, whatever you want to call it, seven ring cement. Um, nope, nothing on that. Maybe this sign might have, I got 29 seconds left, so. This is toll prices. Okay, this no, it doesn't tell me anything. Uh, what else happened this week? Because I've just been more focused on trying to decipher what this is. I hope I've got like. I almost feel like I should just again hedge bets and go farther south, but I feel like I got. Yeah, I felt like I was close. I'm pretty satisfied with that. Final guess for Monday has me Tigo Esta. All right, this Modelo. So this is in the down here. All right. I just don't know what country, but I've got the area. Um, app.com. We got YouTube here. Hmm. All right, here we go. Can I read any of this? If I get one Brazilian guess here, I'm gonna I'm gonna be like, "Yo, game this this uh, this is what I was promised. I was promised more diverse world." But oh, we're gonna go this way. We are going this way. Thank you. I see a sign. Here we go. This is what I needed. All right. Guatemala. I saw Gabriel. All right. It's the Ministry of Communication, Infrastructure, and Viviendas. All right. We're in Guatemala. And the fancy thing about Guatemala is it's small enough where I'm going to get probably 4,000 points regardless of where I click. Uh, Major Mento Carrera. I don't know. I just want to see what Guatemala looks like. Like, this is a fancy little store here. It's like a fort. Uh, what are we selling? Pechuga. Uh, papaya fries. Enchiladas. Sounds tasty. Like when I was in Taiwan and they were selling some street food vendors there, they were like a bag of indiscriminate. It wasn't indiscriminate. It was just meat you normally wouldn't ever have. Like gooseneck. Um, other parts I did not uh, recognize and or understand. But it all tasted fine. I mean, it's just unusual because you're not used to it. But hey, who knows? Maybe... You love chitlins, you just don't know because you've never had it. And then you can like brag to your friends, I like chitlins. And they're like, what's that? Then you go like, well. And then, I don't know where that logic came from, where it's like, you feel like a macho man because you're eating something gross. Well, quote unquote, gross to what your normal sensibilities are. I'm not saying, all right, this is 68th kilometer. I don't feel that this country's bigger than 68 kilometers, but because I haven't been here, I don't know. These are some cool little houses we got just up this super windy road. Hmm. Bunch of cactus, cute little cactuses. And they sell gas and diesel, and these it almost looks like they went and hand-planted all these little tiny cactuses here, but I don't know how cactuses grow. Is it like a cactus seed, or is it a thing you like lop off an arm of it and then throw it in the ground and it just grows? I know they can be heavy, and if like a cactus falls on you, it's a pretty good chance that the weight alone could crush you. Like you get one of those big ones, I think they're suwaro cactuses. Like when you think of a cactus and you see like the 
typical picture of like the desert and you see those big giant cactuses with the two arms that branch off the side. I think those are Suaro and they're super heavy, super expensive, and also super illegal to smuggle. And a lot of people do it apparently. It's big business. Like they go into the desert, chop one of them up, and uh, go put it in people's yards for decorations. But I nailed the country. It was in Guatemala. I like, okay, I like this map. Not because I got 20,000 points on it. And I was, I, I screwed myself out of even more points. This one was the biggest, I don't know, I guess, just because it, I didn't have much to go on. But I kind of like this map. Um, I'm definitely probably going to do um, some more for the rest of this week, at least. And uh, again, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you could like, favorite, comment, subscribe, tell me your thoughts, tell me your tips, tell me anything. I'm here for you, and hopefully you're here for me. But I enjoyed this um, little challenge thing. I might, what I might do is after this week, uh, I mean, the set had like over 10,000 locations here. That's a lot in dedication to whoever made this map. Pretty crazy. Uh, if you got other map themes or you got people you want me to challenge, I'll even do that. I mean, I've talked about it before. I just actually haven't done it yet, but I'm all ears. And uh, stick around for the rest of the week. I uh, got a surprise for Tuesday and Thursday, and potentially that could um, expand out into more than just a two-day-a-week thing. I don't know. Depends on how I feel. But uh, stick around for that. Uh, and thank you all for watching again. We will see you soon. Goodbye.